Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikatayal. Today is Wednesday, January the 7th, 2015. I bring you greetings in the joy of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, sisters and brothers, let us encourage one another to share the love and the greetings of Jesus with everybody throughout this day. I invite you to continue our meditation on the Gospel according to Mark chapter 13. Today, let us focus in on verses 9 through 11. Jesus is talking about the end of the world. Again, he says, Be on guard because you will be arrested and persecuted. You will be thrown in jail. You will be beaten up. You will, you will appear for the court and uh, kings and emperors as my witnesses. Then don't worry about what you will say. What you will say will be given to you at that time. It is not you who is going to speak but the Holy Spirit is going to speak through you. So don't be afraid, but be on guard, because you will be persecuted. Oh, sisters and brothers, how true that is. Even today, so many Christians are persecuted around the world, especially in India. The Hindu fanatics are persecuting the Christians as well as the Muslims. And in... Uh, in the Middle East, Christians are being persecuted by the Islamist, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the terrorist. Oh, brothers and sisters, the Lord knows all these things. He loves us in spite of all these things. So what we need to do is to not be afraid. Be on guard means always be alert that Jesus is with us. He will never give up on us. Nothing can happen to us without him permitting it. And when he permits certain things, it is for our own good and good of the kingdom of heaven. Oh, sisters and brothers, throughout this day, let us praise Jesus for the gift of life he has given us, for the gift of faith he has given us, above all, the gift of his presence today, tomorrow, all throughout our life. So let's grow in our personal relationship with him, talking with him, listening to him, and receiving his amazing love, and be excited about giving that love to everyone, including our enemies. Let us continue to pray for the terrorist, for the fanatics who who persecute Christians and other faith. Oh, sisters and brothers, the Lord God is in charge. He is for us. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for creating us in your image. Lord Jesus Christ, we praise you for dying on the cross for us that we may have forgiveness and eternal life. O oh, precious Lord, thank you for choosing to come and live within us. Enable us to enjoy you, talking to you, listening to you, and obeying you. O oh, Holy Spirit, continue to strengthen us to grow in our personal relationship with Christ, doing all that he wants us to do, especially praying for those who are persecuting us, praying for those who are fanatical, not only with regard to other religions, even Christian fanatics. Oh, precious Lord, continue to glorify yourself in us. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. <music>